ceremony? Yes, we seek to enter. I bid you look into each other's eyes. Will you honour him? I will. Will you honour her? I will. Will you share each other's laughter? We will. Might you burden her? I might. Might you burden him? I might. Is that your intent? No. Is that your intent? No. Will you together take the heat out of anger and use it to temper the strength of this union? We will. Forever you hold in your hands the making or breaking of this union. Fancy watching tonight? Don't mind. Oh yeah, goggle box. What, what a shambles. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to test it. Oh god, John. This contains lots more really strong language. Johnny Shaw. Sexual references. Keep on. Situation is Major Chelsea. Let's have a look at each other, assess each other's bodies. I wouldn't like to look like Adam's penis. Would you know? Naked attraction? <laughs> 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 you know what? I wouldn't mind another leg. Oh. <laughs> Phil? Yeah, alright. Um, love actually? Oh, it's not Christmas yet. It's not just a Christmas film. <laughs> Hot fuzz? Oh, we watched that last week. The Hobbit? Although it's a bit long. Yeah, and we watched that the week before. Well, what do you want to watch then? We could go out for drinks. I'd rather stay in. Snuggle on the sofa with a cup of tea. But we haven't been out since the wedding. We spent so much. <coughs> and it's nice to nest. Oh, it's nice to have a nest to come back to. Look, I don't want to go out. Then what are we going to do then? Sit in on the sofa and stagnate? Oh, we're not an old married couple yet. <coughs>
bid you look into each other's eyes. Might you ever burden her? Might you ever burden him? <laughs> Will you share each other's laughter? Will you take the heat out of anger? And use, use it, it to temper the strength, strength of this union? union? You can go then. May? You go. I won't burden you. I love you. Mm. I just need a change of scene. I won't be long, I promise. watched everyone around me making plans to chase their dreams and build their futures. I found it difficult because I couldn't even see past tomorrow. And then he came along. Showed up on the second week of college. I don't know why he was a late starter. All keen and eager. New bag, plastic files, trendy shoes and what had to be a fresh haircut. I don't know how he ended up sitting next to me in food technology. But next lesson in business studies, there he was. And then in sociology, first it was coffee dates, nothing serious. And then it was walks by the river, plenty of walks by the river with nothing going on, both of us too shy to make the first move. And finally, one day I asked him how he felt about me. He just kissed me. I don't know how long I've been working at the cafe when I first saw him. A couple of months? Seemed every other week he'd show up with a different girl. Get that same table in the corner if he could. Turned out it's where he met his Tinder dates. Then he started showing up on his own. Didn't think anything of it till he brought me that first rose. Then it became routine. Every week he'd surprise me with a red rose. Of course, it stopped being a surprise after a while, but it was still nice. I know it's cliche. He'd give me roses and I'd swoon, but we couldn't help it. It was our thing. Turns out he used to steal them from the flower shop round near Aldi. <laughs> Seemed like a lifetime before I finally asked him how he felt about me. And right there, right in front of everyone in the cafe, he just kissed me. It was meant to be a girl's holiday, an escape from work. We picked the quietest result we could. This was our time. Friends together, definitely no men. The first morning, sitting at the welcome oh, oh. meeting, you know, the ones oh. where the reps tried to sell you all those bus trips. Well, this rep wasn't pushy at all. Really unassuming. By the end of the holiday, it was just me and him taking walks along the beach. His arms were the ocean and I fell headlong into his warmth. On the last night, I asked how he felt and he just kissed me. He was my first everything. First dance, first kiss, first love. My only love, come to think of it. When I was with him, I could finally breathe, I could finally see a future. But I was too lost in my own sweet bubble to realise what was going on. The constantly beeping texts that he kept ignoring. The phone turned over just too quickly when I appeared. I wish I never checked, never looked, never found out about the girlfriend he left behind, the girlfriend back at his old school, the girlfriend he kissed when he should have been kissing me. Then my friend got ill and for a while it got really bad. But he was always there for me, distract me, make me laugh. Wipe away my tears. But by the time Denise finally got out of hospital, he was gone. Didn't even say he was leaving. 
don't really know what happened, but the roses stopped coming. At first I thought maybe he'd run the shop out of business with his stealing, but I guess he just got bored of me. I went home, and at the end of the season he came back and moved in. He didn't have a job, but I had enough for us both, and who needs to go out when you're in love? I was his and he was mine, and that's all I needed. He did come to our office party though, and it was great, until she started her routine. Nothing obvious, just a look, a turn of the head. But he noticed, and it made me jealous. Trust me, he said, but his eyes betrayed us both. I saw the stare he gave her across the room. I never thought he'd be the one to hurt me most. But he was, and I was wrong about him. Now I know that true love only happens in fairy tales. Naive girl, stupid, naive little girl. I will never be that again. Then one day I saw him coming towards the cafe, a rose in his hand and a smile on his face. But he didn't come in, he just kept on walking. And I knew the rose wasn't for me. The hand that wiped away the tears stopped touching me. I will never be abandoned again. It wasn't long after that until I came home early. And her shoes were where mine should be. And I guess her hands were where mine belonged. And I threw them out. Now I stare across an empty room. My emotions are coming to incomprehension. I sit in the dark of the silence, overwhelmed by his absence, and I cry. He had to leave, but my heart crumbled to dust. I will never be deceived again. I will never be that again. I will never be abandoned again. I will never be deceived again. And so, they come here to this house of love to search for something they can't find and to hope for something more. To act out the rituals of love, lust and loss as they destroy what they can't have. And I watch, as I have so many times before. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Is he married, Charlie? 
Ja. Kom hier. Mm. Get your bottle of water. Go brush your teeth, you reek. Where's your ring? Uh, I, I... Where the fuck is your ring, John? There's pie in the fridge as well as beer. Don't collapse on the sofa. Come to bed. by the river was ours. It was where we always went. It was the first day, you know. I ran across and brushed an eyelash off my cheek. And for the first time, we were close enough to kiss. People said we were always together. I guess that's true. We met when we were young. I always thought he was annoying back then. And then when he started work, I thought it was the end of us. We came so distant. And then he proposed, and I've been so happy. But it was all a lie. He was late back for the fourth time that week, so I went looking for him, our place, our bench. And sure enough, I found him. And her. I couldn't bring myself to leave, so I stood there and watched him talk, watched him laugh, watched him raise his hand, wedding ring still on his finger. Brush an eyelash up her cheek. <clears throat> then I watched him kiss. So much for I did. I've got something to hold on to. Oh, you know better than the rest of them. You'll be crawling back for more next week. Look, I left my ring here, but I need it back. Why should I give it back to you? You didn't listen. You should have gone home when I told you because to. Because I love her. Faithful and true. <laughs> Always in <and> forever. <laughs> 